It's about time we admit it, everybody. It's about time we admit it. The National Gridiron League is a scam, and it needs to stop trying to insinuate that it is real. It is nothing more than a fallacy. It is nothing more than something fake. And Joe McClendon gets what he rightfully deserves. And what we're talking about is what happened this past weekend is, you know, a, a um, upcoming season, you know, that the NGL has been promoting for like four or five years now isn't happening. Um, the players decided to do a protest at a Fort Wayne, Indiana mall where, you know, the training camps and stuff like that were supposed to be held. And they just ended up protesting. And once Joe McClendon got there, once Joe got there, he got his ass whooped. And rightfully so. This man has taken money from people. This man has taken people's livelihoods and turn them upside down. All because he started this league. And he thought, you know, he thought that this could be some transcendent thing. You're even lower tier than the AAL right now, my guy. You haven't even started. You haven't even made any progress in the four years, four plus years, however long it has been that you've tried to start this damn league. And... What's funny about this is, is that the city of Fort Wayne, they don't even know what the world's going on. Like, whoa, who are you? What are you trying to do here? Football stuff. No, that's not That's not what we're doing out here. That's not what we're doing. Um, what are you talking about? What are you talking about, Joe? There is no football here in Fort Wayne. There is no events. There is no hotels being booked for players. There is nothing like that. There's no football fields out here. What are you talking about? So the fact of the matter that, that he continues, he continues, Joe, you got to stop it. You got to stop it. You got to stop doing this. You can't. You can't do this anymore, my guy. Just fold it. Get on out the scene. And again, quite frankly, when the players would players who we don't know who the players are that got named or anything. I don't think anybody got named in the articles that have been coming up. They want justice. Those players wanted justice. They wanted an answer. And you decided to, you know, lie and, and, and jump around and all that other stuff, you know. You decided to completely alienate these players. And I feel sad for these players that decided to, you know, come on up here and waste their money, waste their time when they could have been doing, you know, something more legitimate. You know, the CFL's right there, the IFL's right there, the NAL's right there, CIF is right there, you know. There's plenty there's plenty of talent out there in, in you know, those types of leagues, the XFL as well. Or hell, even even the Spring League, even though Brian Woods is also a kind of a con, man. But that's neither here nor there. National Gridiron League needs to die. It is a scam that needs to die. And if it doesn't die this year, you know, I, I, I don't know what to say. I don't know what to say, to be completely honest with you. It's a sad, sad thing. You know, it's really, really sad that we have to keep seeing, you know, oh, well, the NGL, is he going to start this year? Is he going to have 12 teams like it has been, you know, begging for all this time? No, it's not. It's never going to happen. Never going to happen. Oh, is it going to be indoors? Oh, wait, it might be outdoors this time. It might be outdoors for the first season after all. No, not going to happen. What Joe McClinton needs to admit is that he is a scam artist. Start returning money to those players. Start doing something, you know, start doing something to get your reputation back, my guy. Because this ain't it. This is not it. Not it at all. It's absolutely disgusting. And this, this goes to the other leagues as well. The Freedom Football League, you know, the, the, the Major League Football that have been trying to start up. This goes to those two leagues too, because they've been trying to start up for years and they haven't done it. 
I mean, don't get me wrong. Those two leagues, they haven't really said anything. They haven't really done anything at all. You know, in the years that they've been trying to, you know, get up off the ground. But this one right here, this one right here is a prime example of what you don't do. A prime example of what you do not do in regards to trying to start something that you think is professional. Liberal football has been professional for years now, so doesn't make any sense. It's disgusting. I mean, you can claim all you want. You can claim that you can start your season on May the 11th. You can claim that you had housing lined up for your players. You can claim that you had, you know, training camp ready. You're a liar. Get the fuck out of here with that bullshit. That's it. That's it, everybody. I'll see you for, on Friday for for um for FCS stuff.